A week ago, Wednesday, here in town at about 1.30 in the afternoon, uh, a few days after our major snowstorm here in our state, uh, a young man named Michael Connery uh, was struck uh, while driving his car on Route 102 by a large chunk of ice and snow that we allege came off of a box truck driving in the uh, opposing lane of travel, or in the opposite direction, rather. Uh, Michael sustained serious and significant injuries to his face and, in fact, had glass embedded in both of his eyes and has underwent multiple surgeries since that time. Uh, Michael had hoped to be here today to help spread the you know, very, very important message of take two minutes to help save a life. Brush off your car, if snow and ice. Uh, it could, it's taken other people's lives. It almost took his. I'd like to introduce uh, Chief Scott Gennard, who's going to uh, say a few remarks. Chief Gennard, back in 1999, was a, uh, one of the responding officers to a traffic crash uh, in Peterborough that took the life of Jessica Smith. Uh, several years later, New Hampshire legislators, uh, legislators uh, enhanced the penalties for uh, one offense called negligent driving, figuratively uh, referred to as Jessica's Law, uh, which enhanced the penalties for drivers who failed to remove ice or snow off the tops of their vehicles. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In January of 1999, I was one of three officers that investigated a fatal traffic accident in Peterborough, which, where then 20-year-old Jessica Smith's life was tragically taken. The accident occurred when a large section of ice flew off of the top of a tractor-trailer truck, then in and through the windshield of an oncoming box truck. That box truck then crossed the center line, colliding with a vehicle operated by Jessica Smith. This tragic event helped pave the way for New Hampshire lawmakers to enact the negligent driving law, also known as and commonly referred to as Jessica's Law. The message is this. Please take the time to clear the snow and ice from your vehicle before you hit the road. It will save lives, save, save injuries, prevent injuries, and prevent you from having to pay hefty fines. Thank you. It's uh, eerily similar to one that happened here in Leonardary just a week and a half ago. Uh, these issues still exist today. Uh, unless uh, we have a severe climate change, New Hampshire is going to have snow every winter. And we uh, ask drivers and remind you every single snowstorm, please take two minutes, brush off your car if snow and ice. It could literally save a life. It took Jessica's life, and it almost took Michael's. Uh, Sergeant Kane, something like this at any of your uh, local home improvement stores, you can buy it online, ship to your home. Um, just before, as a few of you saw, there was a vehicle, an SUV in our parking lot that had, hadn't removed snow from their vehicle. And that tool literally took uh, about 90 seconds to do. So thank you again for uh, coming this afternoon, helping us spread our message, trying to keep all motorists safe. And local police departments and the New Hampshire State Police, we are out there enforcing these laws. If a, an officer sees uh, a vehicle that's not free of snow or ice, you will be stopped. So it appears that he was unaware that the snow and ice had uh, apparently come off his vehicle and it was a, an, another witness to the crash actually kind of chased him down and to draw his attention. He cooperated with our investigation fully uh, and it's, I think it's also important to know that, uh, you know, by all accounts he appears to be a good man, a good person. I don't think he set out that day to harm anyone uh, and of course he is innocent until proven guilty, has not been convicted of anything. He faces one misdemeanor count, or class A misdemeanor for vehicular assault uh, and also one for reckless conduct for operating, we're alleging that he operated his vehicle uh, recklessly uh, in that he caused a, a crash with serious bodily injury. Again, Michael really wanted to be here today, uh, but he's actually back in Boston uh, at another doctor's appointment. He's underwent several surgeries, uh, and he's hopeful uh, to get his vision back. Do doctors don't know for sure. Time will tell. Uh, but an interesting side note, um, I'd never met Michael or his family um, until this crash and in, in, in the days after. Michael set to graduate college in May. Uh, he actually was a police explorer here in Londonderry about four or five years ago and shared with me that uh, he intends to uh, uh, apply to various police departments to become a full-time police officer uh, sometime next year. Hopefully his vision does come back to a point uh, that he's able to pass a vision test because that is a requirement uh, for all police officers, not only in New Hampshire, but across our country. So it's somewhat, uh, it'd be quite a tragedy uh, for this young man not to be able to pursue his career dreams uh, because of a crash that he was involved in that was uh, you know, totally uh, preventable. That, that section of Route 102 is a 55 mile an hour zone, and because both vehicles were traveling in opposing directions, just picture uh, like the, the velocity with which that chunk of ice and snow went through that car. I mean, it totally filled the inside of his uh, Honda Accord with ice and snow. Uh, and I, you know, I was actually on scene myself. I, I really am surprised that uh, that he survived. Uh, as the captain indicated, what frustrates us the most, I think, speaking for law enforcement, is these vehicles that are driving around three and four days after a storm. 
with six inches or more of snow and ice on the roof. Uh, keep in mind the light powdery snow that may fall on your roof today within several days will harden up and become ice. So um, people need to be mindful of that.